All right, guys, let's get this party started. If you don't know who I am, I am Angela Smith. I am one half of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and we are the founders of the royalty movement. You guys, we have a really strong testimony in my econ. We've been a part of this company now for five years, which sounds crazy, right? Five years we've been a part of my econ, and we've been able to do some phenomenal things. I mean, we've been able to uh, become debt-free twice. We've been able to boost our credit scores to 800. We've been able to open up several different investment accounts. We've been able to, uh, I mean, just do so much. We quit our jobs. We've been self-employed now for, like, almost four years. So our testimony is absolutely amazing. And what this training is, you guys, it is the website overview, okay? If you are a part of the royalty movement, then you know every single Saturday I'm coming to you live with a training, okay? And I'm rotating Saturdays. So one Saturday is going to be the website overview, which is what you're tuning into now. That's going to be for new members uh, as well as if you've been with the company for a while, okay? So the website overview is going to be every other Saturday. And then the other Saturdays is going to be um, a building uh, training, okay? So we're going to go over how to present my econ without being the expert, okay? Because this is the type of company where you don't have to know it all in order to be successful, okay? And so I show that every other Saturday I'm showing you different systems that my econ has in place to teach you how to do a training or how to present what we offer in my econ without knowing it all, okay? So give me just a second, and I will actually be sharing my screen with you because I want you to see the My Econ website, okay? This Saturday today, right now, is the website overview. So let's go ahead and dive straight in. I should have had my website up already, but I didn't. All right, give me just a second. Let me get it up here. And thank you guys so much for hopping on this morning. It says a lot about you um, and your seriousness about accomplishing your goals and really growing your business. If you guys were not on the announcement last night with Mr. Stokes, where the heck was you at, okay? It was popping. He actually dropped some jewels, you guys. But long story short, whenever there's a My Econ announcement, it seems to always be about us getting more money, okay? So we can now um, bring people into this business, and we can get paid even more money, $50 a pop. Are you kidding me, okay? So let's go out here and let's really do an awesome job. So if you're looking at my screen, you guys, you will see – the home screen, okay, this is what everybody sees. If you were just to send your link to somebody, they will be looking at the screen that you're looking at right now, okay? I may have some new new members on here. So what you're going to do on this screen is you're going to hit log in, okay? It's on this black strip going across the top. And when you click on log in, it's going to take you to the login screen. We need you to put in your username and whatever your four-digit code was, okay? That code was sent to you when you first got enrolled, okay? It's a four-digit numeric passcode. Once you put in that passcode, it's going to prompt you to change your password to whatever you would like for that to be, okay? So make sure you remember what you changed that to. Y'all know how we do. We changed it to something that we use a million different times, okay? Do that which of my econ business. Don't forget your password, okay? The screen that I am on right now is the business management center, okay? This means that you are logged in, okay? That's, that's what it means. You're logged in. So the home screen is what people who are uh, not in the business will see. If you're sending your link for people to look at the products, the services that we offer, they're going to be on the home screen. It has testimonies. It has a little breakdown of what we do. It has an opportunity video, okay? That's the home screen. But if you're a member, you get access to the business management center. So this screen right here is what you're going to uh, actually be looking at 
as a member, okay? This is all of your trainings and everything that you need to be successful, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in. The very first thing that you need to do, and I hope you guys have pen and paper, it is in bright green, okay? Green is for the money, and it says get started, okay? It says get started. So if you are a new member, okay, I had a new member that, that just recently enrolled a couple of days ago. If you haven't done this, the very first thing that you need to do is get started. If you've been in my econ for some years and you were just happy that I announced this webinar and you've been kind of stuck in your business, go to get started, okay? Start back at square number one. Get started. Let me just click on that so that you guys can see everything that comes with that get started. This is how you're going to get off to a fast start. See, my econ is the type of business that if somebody gets you enrolled, and let's say you never hear from them again. They just disappear off the face of the earth. You can still be successful. Your upline has absolutely nothing to do with your success. Your website has your name on it. Your username is your username. And your password is what you set your password to be. So it's all on you, okay? You can be very self-sufficient. I'm not saying that... Uh, you don't ever need your upline because you may have questions. You may want somebody to talk to, somebody to help you grow your business. But I'm just saying if you never hear from them again, okay, you can do this all on your own. The training calls are on here. The webinar schedule is on here. There's uh, videos on here. There's documents on here. There's talking points on here for growing your business. The record keeping is all here. You can be successful, but it's all about you putting in the work. So under the Get Started, you'll see there's the overview, Mr. June Collier, the VP of Marketing. He recorded all of these videos for us, you guys. The W-4 training is on here, so you can adjust your W-4. Tax record keeping, if you're going to run this as a business, and yes, I said if, you are going to run this as a business, you need to know how to actually Keep good records and write this off on your taxes, and I'm going to go a little bit deeper into that as well. Generating business income, making a prospect list, picking and passing, the business overview. Look, scripts are even here, and then presenting and closing. Again, it's all there. So what I just got from that is without my upline, okay, let's just pretend like our upline isn't here. I can adjust my W-4 and start getting more money on my job. I can learn about record keeping, keeping good records, which means I can get more money during tax time. I can maximize, and I can build and grow my business. Oh, okay, it's all here, you guys. It's under Get Started. It's in bright green for a reason, okay? Get started, okay? Do that. Then if, you, if you're looking at my screen, you guys, that entire left column, it's taking it a step further for you to get started. Correcting your W-4 tax record keeping is there again. Debt elimination, if that's something you want to do. And the smart credit system, which is the do-it-yourself credit repair system. All of that is there for you to get off to a fast start. Y'all, we can't say, well, I didn't know this or I left my econ because I wasn't here from upline. We can't when the website has our name on it, okay? Left column is all you. Be self-sufficient, okay? Let's move over to the middle column, okay? The middle column at the very top, it says income-shifting memberships. Income-shifting memberships. So I'm just going to click on that. What you see under income-shifting membership, you guys, is everything that's included in your membership, what comes with your package, okay? The smart credit system, which is the do-it-yourself credit system, and I'm going to open that for you guys to see it. We get discounted traveling. We get cashback mall where we're partnered with thousands of stores and we earn cash back on our purchases. Look, there's more videos, financial freedom videos, the cash flow manager, the debt elimination calculator, correcting your withholdings, there's another video for you, and tax record keeping, okay? All of this is included in your membership. Now, I want you all to just think about this for just a second. 
You're only paying $34.95 a month, okay? The first thing in this list, which is the do-it-yourself credit system, that's worth more than $35 a month in itself, okay? I know people out here paying $100 to $300 a month to better their credit. You're paying $34.95. It's all on you, you guys, putting in the work, okay? I'm going to go through some of these. I'm not going to go through all of them, just some of them, so that you can get an understanding of what we offer, okay? Now, I want you to write this down. What are your goals? What are your goals? Now, here in my econ, typically people have one of these goals, okay? You want to better your credit. You want to make more money. You want to get out of debt. You want to start investing. You want to learn how to save a little bit, maybe here and there. And you want to purchase a home. One of those six things are typically one of the goals that I hear over and over and over again. And those things can actually lead you to financial freedom, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to click on the smart credit system. The smart credit system, again, it is the do-it-yourself credit system, okay? It's all on you, you guys. It's, it's do-it-yourself. It's video tutorials. Again, Mr. June Collier is going step-by-step step on how to repair your own credit. The first thing you're going to see is an introductory video just welcoming you to the smart credit system. Then you're going to see some toggles at the bottom, okay? You're going to see 750 credit plan and 750 credit monitoring, okay? I want you to listen to me. The 750 credit monitoring is not included in your membership. I repeat, it is not included in your membership. Now, we're giving you the do-it-yourself credit system where you're going to better your credit, but listen, you need credit monitoring, okay? This is, I'm going to just keep it all the way 100 with you. When you start bettering your credit, the criminals come out, okay? They try to use your credit card, try to lease stuff in your name, try to buy a house, whatever the case may be. You need monitoring. I'm not saying that you have to purchase it from my econ. Nobody's going to force you to do that. However, it only makes sense if your name is on the website that you purchase from yourself that you be a product of your product, that you be a customer of yourself. The 750 credit monitoring, again, you can get that anywhere. But here in my econ, we have it at the most inexpensive price that I've ever heard. You're paying for it in six-month increment, increments, and it's only about $24.95, okay? Somebody may want to double-check me on that. But if, I know it's a little bit over $23.00. And it covers you for six months. They'll alert you if someone's trying to steal your identity, if someone's trying to, if there's purchases that may not be you, they're kind of looking at your typical history. You need credit monitoring, okay? I suggest buying it from yourself, getting it from your website. And guess what? If you purchase it from yourself, you even get a little bit of that money right back, okay? Let's get into the 750 credit plan, okay? That is what's included in your membership. So I'm just going to click enter, and when I click enter, it's going to bring up 10 modules, okay, step by step on how to repair your own credit. Listen to just some of the titles. Obtain your credit report and credit scores, how to read your credit report, how to dispute items on your credit report, how to remove negative payment history, how to reduce credit utilization, how to add credit history, how to properly apply for new credit how to get credit mixture, and how to check disputes. Step by step, you guys, no middleman needed. It's all here. It's on your website. It's all about you just dedicating the time. So if credit is one of your goals that you want to accomplish, you need to make sure that you're diving in. Pace yourself. I'm not saying go through all 10 modules today. No, you do number one. Watch the video, and you do what it says. If you're comfortable moving on to step number two, go to step number two. But you can most definitely knock out about the first three 
in the first day of doing this, okay? Because that's just the introduction, obtaining your report and your scores, and reading your report, okay? So pace yourself on this. Do it exactly as it's listed. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about my econ is the option for multiple streams of income. Yes, I said multiple streams of income. Yes, you can refer people to the business, and yes, you can earn money that way. But guess what? You can also sell a lot of these features and products that we're giving you for free in your membership. You can sell these as standalone products, and you can actually earn commission on them. You can sell this credit repair system, the do-it-yourself, for a one-time $99. Y'all know we are still at the beginning of the year. Everybody getting that tax money back. And what's the first thing I say? I want to better my credit, right? One time, $99, no monthly fee, no middleman. They're doing it all themselves. And guess what? You're completely hands off. You send them your link, and the courses are emailed to them. And guess what? you get paid, okay? So keep that in mind. Everything that I'm going over, if I don't say it, Almost everything can be sold as a standalone feature, so keep that in mind. You may even want to start your own credit repair business. Now, you may need to check with the state in which you live to see what the rules and the regulations are. Make sure that you're in alignment with the laws before you start pulling people's credit, but you can start your own credit repair business, you guys. Some people just don't want to do it themselves, okay? If this is something that you are passionate about, once you start seeing results, guess what? Your family, your friends, people on Facebook, it's so many people out here that want their credit repaired, and now you can come up with your own prices for uh, actually assisting them with their credit. So I think that that's really cool. My econ doesn't have any uh, rules or restrictions against you doing that. So again, multiple streams of income is most definitely an option. Let's get back into it. The income shifting membership. The next thing you're going to see is the discounted travel. I'm not going to get into that. It's exactly as it sounds, right? There's perks to having a membership. The cashback mall. Let's pull that one up. Now, the cashback mall, we are partnered with hundreds, if not thousands, of stores, right? Because we keep adding more and more stores, it seems like, monthly. And when you shop online through your cashback mall, you earn cash back. If you're looking at my screen right now, you may even see some that you're already familiar with. Restaurant.com, Walmart, Priceline, Expedia, they're all here. Uh, Jose Bank, all here. And if you shop, you earn cash back. Every store, as you can see, if you're looking at my screen, there's the logo, and then underneath it, it may say 5% cash back or 14% cash back or 2% cash back. Expedia is giving you up to $10 cash back. I even see Groupon on here. Now, if y'all aren't familiar with Groupon, it's already a discounted site. You're already getting discounts. So you mean to tell me? If I go through my cashback mall to a discounted site, I'm getting more discounts? I'm getting money back? Hold up. Wait a minute. That's what I'm talking about. So we're assisting you with additional streams of income, and we're also teaching you to better manage your cash flow and obviously with the cashback mall save a ton of money. Now, I want you all to think about this, right? I want you to kind of get in the mindset of whenever you're about to spend money, see if it's on your cash back mall. Another thing, you guys, with the way the technology is advancing, just because you order online doesn't, have, doesn't mean you have to wait the three to seven days on it to come in the mail. See, Walmart, you can order, and there's a pickup and store option where – maybe 30 minutes to an hour later, you can go pick it up. Have you ever been in Walmart and in the customer service area, you see all of these baskets, and it looks like they're always out of place. They got stuff in them. Sometimes they have little pieces of paper on them. I used to always say, what the heck is that, until I started shopping online. What it is, you guys, when you order online, excuse me, through your cash bag mall, then they do the shopping for you. 
you pay for it, you go to the store, it's already in the basket with your name on it. You pick it up, you're out the door. You're not waiting in lines. You're not in there overspending, right? You go in there for two items, you leave with 30. It happens to me every time. Shop online. Use your cashback mall. Y'all, you're going to be blown away by this. Even the dollar store is on here. Think it's a game? Click on department stores on the left-hand side where you see all of the categories, and look what's in the middle of the screen. Dollar general, 2.5% cash back. So another thing that I want you guys to think about is this. Everything is categorized on your left-hand side. Even if you don't see the store that you shop at uh, regularly, this also gives you the opportunity to find a new store. And I'm going to give you my example. I wear contacts, which, of course, means I wear glasses as well, right? I went to get my eyes examined for new glasses. And my glasses wearers, y'all know what I'm talking about. For new glasses, they wanted over $200 for new frames. And I said, uh, hold on, wait a minute. Just hand me my prescription, and I'm going to check online. I went over to the left-hand side. And there is a category that says contacts and eyeglasses. So all of these stores popped up, uh, 1-800-GET-LENS, $39 glasses, AC lens. I've never heard of any of these, right? So I'm just clicking around. I'm looking at the cash back that they're offering. And I found this store called Goggles for You, okay? It's up right now uh, if you're looking at my screen. 7.5% cash back. So I clicked on there, started looking at their frames. They had a sale going on. Long story short, you guys, and I made a Facebook post about this over a year ago. I paid $10 for prescription glasses. Drop mic, okay? $10. So I just saved. I want you all to think about this. I just saved a ton of money, right? Over $200 is what they wanted. I saved money. And I earn money for shopping through my cashback mall. So I want you to definitely explore on here books, things that you need around your home. Look on your cashback mall first. And if you can just kind of change your mindset um, every time you're about to go buy money, if, I mean buy something, if it's not something that you need right then and there on the spot that very minute, check your cashback mall out and see if you can order it and go pick it up or see if you can even wait on it and get it at a later date. Another thing, guys, again, we're all about additional streams of income. On the left-hand side at the very bottom, it says referral program. Then it pulls up this link in a purplish, bluish box. You can copy and paste that link and send it to whoever you want to, and they can set up a cashback mall for free. For free. All you need, uh, all they need to put in is their name and their email address from what I remember, and they also get their own cashback mall. And let me tell you the beauty in this. When they shop online, they earn cashback and you earn cashback. You see what it says at the top in bold? Earn 10% of the cashback earnings of all of your referrals. If that ain't making money on top of making money, I don't know what it is, all right? Let's keep going. What else is included in this income shifting membership, right? So we're going to go back. If you ever get stuck, guys, just hit the back button or go back to the browser and type in your website. And when you log back in, it's going to take you back to the business management center, okay? That's what I just did. And now I'm going to the income shifting membership again. And another thing that I want to go over with you is the cash flow manager. The cash flow manager, let's open that up because it's also included in your membership. Now, if you've never created a cash flow manager, you'll see on my screen it says create a new cash flow manager. So you're just going to do that. It's going to prompt you to put in a name for your cash flow manager. Now, let me take a step back. 
What is the cash flow manager? The cash flow manager is our record keeping software, you guys. This is a software that you will use to track all of your business expenses, okay? Everything associated with business, you put in your cash flow manager. It allows you to just take a picture of the receipt, which you'll see in just a second. Another thing that I love being, you know, just speaking for myself, I have another business that I actually own. You can track as many businesses as you like under this one software. So under this one right here, I'm just going to type my econ because I'll say that this cash flow manager is for my, my econ business. Keep in mind, anything associated with growing or building, expanding your my econ business can be written up on your taxes. Guys, Personal expenses are not business expenses, okay? Getting your nails done, we're not putting that in the cash flow manager. I'm talking about business cards. I'm talking about renting out the library to hold a meeting. I'm talking about traveling to a meeting. You know, now your mileage can be written up on your taxes. We need to make sure we're being truthful and make sure that we're putting legitimate things in our cash flow manager in order to just honestly be a, a true, legit business owner, okay? So let's get into this. You're going to see a lot of different options on the dashboard. I'm going to show you an example for entering a new expense, okay? So click on the one that says enter new expense. What's going to happen is it's going to bring up this screen where it's like filling a blank, right? You're filling in everything. First thing you're going to see is a drop-down box. This drop-down box is already preloaded with categories of things that you can write off on your taxes. You have the advertising. You have uh, your home office rent, home office utilities, uh, licensing. If you do any outside licensing, like getting an LLC or something of that nature, you have meetings and seminars. You have your monthly renewal fees. Yes, the $34.95 can be written off on your taxes if you're running this as a business. Your postage and shipping costs, you guys. Some of you guys know my husband and I, we sell uh, marketing material. So we have the debt free is the new sexy buttons and we have the shirts. If we're shipping those things off because it's in an effort to expand our business and help you expand your business, it can be written off on your taxes at the end of the year. Transportation, gas and oil, parking tolls if you're traveling, um, your airplane ticket if you're traveling, your lodging if you're traveling, your meals, if you're traveling, it's all here, okay? You can write all of these things off on your taxes, again, if you're legitimately running this as a business. So the example that I am going to give you today is let's say you are attending a My Econ conference, okay? Let's go ahead and write that off on our taxes. So in the drop-down box, I'm going to put that under meetings and seminars. I'm going to put the date in here, and you can backtrack the date, you know, if you get uh, behind on receipts. I'm going to put in the amount. Let's say this conference, it's a three-day conference. Let's say it costs $199. So I'm going to put $199 in there. The who, I'm just going to put the who is my econ. And you can even take it a step further. You can put a dash and say, you know, Detroit cash flow conference or something of that nature, right? The what is going to be what makes this a business expense? Why are you writing this off on your taxes, right? Well, it's a business conference. You can write business conference, biz, business meeting, just whatever you want, your verbiage, okay? The where is always going to be city and state. But, you guys, let's take it a step further this year with our record keeping. Let's put the full address in there, right? We don't want no problems. The address is always on each and every flyer and banner and in the back office. Put the full address in there, 67 State Street. I'm just making this up as I go, guys. Uh, Detroit. Michigan, and then you can put in the zip code. Another reason why this is important, you guys, is because you have to understand that you're, you're keeping your records. You're really being proactive. 
okay? So you're keeping track of everything that you're spending money on throughout the year, and then you file these things on your taxes at the end of the year. Your tax preparer will let you know what stays and what goes, okay? If you're putting things in here and they say, oh, you can't write this off, okay, kick it out, but at least I had my receipt in here already and I was ready, okay? If you were to be audited, and I don't want you to get afraid of that word. I don't want you to be scared when you hear IRS, right? All they want to know is prove that you're in business. You wrote off all of these, these things. You wrote off thousands of dollars. You wrote off conferences and meals and traveling. Do you have receipts? Just show me that you're really doing business. And guess what? You got the full address in here. You got all of the details, how much you spent, the date. You're just going to send them a copy of your cash flow manager, okay, showing how good of record keeping. And once they verify, it's no big deal. So don't be afraid. The only reason why you should be afraid of being audited or the IRS is if you're lying, okay? Yeah, I said it. And then in the notes, you guys, in the notes, you're going to just take it a step further. Put whatever details in here that you can. You know, traveled to Detroit for three-day conference. You can put the name of it. I think they're calling it the Detroit Cash Flow Conference. You can put, you know, hosted by whoever, da 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 Put as many details in there as possible because, again, if you were ever to be audited, it's also going to serve as a memory jogger for you. Sometimes if you travel a lot, like my husband and I last year, it's like we travel every single month. Well, when I started making sure all of our receipts and stuff was in order at the very end of the year and last month, I had to kind of jog my memory a little bit like, Oh, yeah, 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 I remember we did this and we did that. Or, yeah, we did have to stop by this particular restaurant. Or, yeah, we did meet a business partner here. So it served as a memory jogger also for you if you ever need to prove that you're really in business. So be as detailed as possible when you're keeping your records, okay? Then the part that I love the best it says upload a new receipt image. And when you click on that little toggle, it opens up your camera for you to take a picture of the receipt, okay? So you take a picture of that $199 purchase for that conference, and that's all going to aid in your record keeping. Taking it a step further, right now in this example, we're not going to put the mileage on here, but if I was actually, once I hit the road, I'm putting that odometer in there, my beginning odometer and my ending odometer from Arkansas to Detroit. Or I'm going to do a separate uh, transaction with my airline ticket or my lodging, okay? Be specific and be detailed. Then you're going to hit save. So I just hit save. And look at what it does. It puts it on a spreadsheet for you. So, again, at the end of the year, you're printing this all out. You're handing it to your tax preparer. It's categorized for you. Everything is here, okay? Be as detailed as possible if you're going to run this as a business, okay? So I'm done with the cash flow manager. I know I was a little bit long-winded on that, but you have to understand how important the record keeping is in business. It's one of the fastest ways to sink. If you go filing on your taxes, it's one of the fastest ways to sink is not having good records, okay? So I'm going to wrap up the income shifting membership, okay? Everything else you can click on your own, the debt elimination calculator and all of the videos. I'm going to go back to BMC Home, and underneath the income shifting membership, it says compensation. I'm not going to go into that. It's exactly as it sounds. You get compensated for your work. Underneath that, you see reports. Again, if you are building this as a business, under reports is where you're going to see 
the new associates that you refer to the company, your sales, if you sold the smart money kit or any other things that we offer, you're going to see your commission checks there. You're going to see your residual checks there. Um, anything associated with you running it as a business, you can see all of your active associates. You can see all of your inactive associates, your canceled associates. It's all under the reports, okay? And it's very, very important if you're really trying to rank up in the company. Underneath that is meetings and events. Listen, guys. <clears throat> We could do this all day, okay? We could do this week after week after week. We can be online. We can do webinars. You can see me. I can see you, right? We can do this, but there is absolutely nothing like being at a physical My Econ meeting. If you're going to be in this thing, be all in. Click on meetings and events. Put in your zip code and find something in your area or somewhere where you're willing to travel and make it to an event. It's so important, you guys, to be in a room full of people on the same mission as you, with the same goals as you, people who's accomplished the goals that you got that you've accomplished, and people whose vision are even bigger than yours, okay? If it wasn't for me attending my econ events, I wouldn't have been able to network with a couple, okay? I talk about this couple all the time, the Ivories. When I heard that they have their own shopping center, I was like, hold on. I thought I had some goals. But that take my vision to the next level. I want me a shopping center too. How did you do it? And I was able to talk with them, and I was able to hear how my econ aided in them buying a shopping center that houses corporate buildings. Okay, commercial buildings. So it's things like that that you don't get online. I'm not on here, you know, sharing the things that we've personally done. You get that at a physical meeting. Then we have what's called the meetings after the meetings where the founders of the company, Mr. Ivy Stokes or Mr. Alvin Curry, they'll sit down with you and they have a more intimate conversation with you, uh, tell you about some of their successes, some of their failures, you got to attend a meeting, y'all. I'm not just hyping this up. I promise you the energy is so contagious, you won't want to go back home. You just want to be around these people all of the time. You have to make it out to a meeting at least once a month in my econ. You also get the hands-on training as it pertains to investments. Okay, sometimes you don't want to do everything online. You don't want to do everything in webinar form. You want to sit down with somebody. You want to look at physical paperwork, and you want to learn that way. I understand. I get it. But you got to make it to a meeting. Another thing that you have to understand, you guys, is that we are not licensed to tell you what to invest in. We are not licensed to tell you where to put your money. However, there's always a hands-on investment training teaching you how all of the investments work, teaching you what to look for, what not to look for, don't fall into this trap. You can only get that at physical meetings, and it's so worth it. Me personally, I may even share where I'm investing my money. I'm not telling you um, where to put yours, but I may have a conversation with a business partner or a family member and say, yeah, I bought stock in this particular company. It's doing pretty good. It's on the, you know, I'm getting this much return. I can have that conversation physically, but I'm not going to do that online, okay? That's a, a more intimate conversation. Make it out to a meeting or event in your area or travel. It's 100% tax deductible, okay? Underneath that, I'm still in the middle column, you guys. Underneath meetings and events, you'll see the word tools. Tools. I already went over the cash flow manager. Now I'm going to show you the cash flow strategist. If you are interested in getting out of debt, if you are interested in buying a home, retiring early, investing, you need to make sure you fill out this cash flow strategist, okay? Once you click on it, it's going to say file name at the top. You can name it whatever you want to. Uh, 
I'm, sometimes we fill out maybe one a year or once every couple of years just if our goals change, if we messed around and got into debt. Y'all heard us say we got out of debt twice using this system, okay? So name it whatever you want and then dive straight in, okay? I'm going to go through this kind of briefly. First thing you're going to see, top five financial goals. What do you want to accomplish? Order them. One through five, do you want to increase your income, reduce your taxes, buy a home, make a major purchase, pay off your debts, save for college, build retirement, or other? You may just want to take a trip, okay? One through five, put it in there. The next thing you're going to see are your retirement freedom goals, okay? Your retirement freedom goals, you guys, to be honest with you, this is where it gets real, for a lot of the people that I train, for a lot of the people on our team, this portion of it can either make you very, very excited. Uh, for some people, it may discourage them a little bit, but you can do this, okay? Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Let's go through these, okay? And I just want you to think about it as I'm reading these off. Number one, what's the least amount of monthly income that you desire at retirement? Number two, what year at the latest do you plan to retire? Number three, how much of your monthly retirement income do you expect to receive from Social Security or company paid pensions, like a 401k, 403b, IRA? Number four, what is the approximate value of your investment portfolio right now? Number five, how much money do you currently invest monthly into long-term savings. Number six, how much additional money monthly can you invest into long-term savings right now? Number seven, how much money do you have set aside for emergencies? And look at what it says in parentheses. You need at least six months worth of living expenses. Ouch. And number eight, do you feel, simple question, do you feel you currently have a plan in place to accomplish your retirement goals in your desired time frame? Yes or no? Those questions, they start out good for people, and then they realize I'm not even close to being where I need to be to retire when I want to retire. But, you guys, if you join my econ, just know that you are being proactive. You can catch up. You don't have to work until you die if you apply these principles, if you just take this seriously. I've never seen a company where you can be successful even if you're not recruiting. Even if you're not bringing people in and building this as a business, you can apply the strategies and you can be successful, okay? Let's keep going. Number three is the debt elimination section. You're going to put in your creditor, your balance owed, and the minimum payment. For every additional debt, just hit add, okay? The next one is recurring monthly expenses. So in the debt elimination, guys, for example, if you're buying a home, you would put your mortgage in the debt elimination. And then in number four, the recurring monthly expenses, you're not going to put your mortgage there because in the debt elimination, keep in mind, those are things that can be paid off. Some of y'all know this, but I, I've actually had to break this down quite a bit. Only the things that can be paid off is what you're putting in the debt elimination. Then in your recurring monthly expenses, it's recurring. It's something you're paying regardless month after month after month after month, okay? Like your um, cell phone bill is a recurring monthly expenses. If you're renting, it's a recurring monthly expenses. Your utilities, I wish we could just pay them bad boys off, but no, it's recurring. Your auto insurance, recurring, okay? So I want to make sure that I'm breaking this down good enough for you guys. Um, add To add an additional expense, just hit that little toggle that says add. Okay, then what you want to do after you fill this whole page out, guys, make sure you hit save or save and return to list. Okay, you got to remember to save it or everything will be erased. Then it's going to give you three parts. You're going to see A, B, and C. So now we're going to go to B. 
Part B is all about the debt elimination and starting to accomplish your goal. In the top section, you're going to see some numbers in there centered around retirement. Then it's going to give you three steps, okay? These are what we call our three smart cash flow strategies to acquire the monthly cash flow needed to attain financial success, guys. Basically, in my econ, we got three main strategies. This is what's going to get you more money and get you closer to your goals. Step number one is business income, okay? Let's say you, you decide to build this as a business part-time, you know, very part-time, and you can free up. You can make about an extra $100 a month, okay? With the changes that Ivy just made to the comp plan, <laughs> you can get $100 a month by just referring two people to the company, okay? So let's just say you're able to do $100 a month. Step number two is taxes and withholdings, you guys, adjusting that W-4. Let's say you're able to free up an extra $250 a month. You're going to put that in the box under taxes and withholding. And then let's say on step number three, let's say that you are able to go through all of your expenses because I, I didn't say this on the last page. When you go through and you start filling out all of those expenses, yeah, it's making you aware of where your money is going, but then at the same time, you can look at these things and say, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to cut this off. I need to do this. Maybe I can get my cell phone bill lowered. Maybe I can get my utilities lowered somehow. For us, let me go back to that page, y'all, because I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I'm going to go back to A. On this bottom part, I failed to mention, under the recurring monthly expenses, if you notice, it says expense, it says current monthly cost, and it says new monthly cost. What the heck is a new monthly cost? Well, that's you calling AT&T and saying, look, the cell phone bill too high. Is their plan lower? And if they lowered that plan for you, you put that in the new monthly cost. And guess what? That's freeing up more cash flow for you to pay off your debt, for you to put into savings, for you to put into investing. And you're going to do that with all of your expenses. If you can get them lowered, get them lower. I had one um, associate who she was so serious about this because she was so tired of being broke. She even moved. She found a cheaper apartment. And she was able to free up about $300 in cash flow every month, okay? So it's little things like that. I'm going to tell you a funny story about me and my husband. When we started going through this, y'all, and we were looking at all of our monthly expenses, we were like, okay, cool. Our expenses only come to this. We making this much money. We should have this much left over. And it was like, earth. We should have this much money left over. Where the heck is all of our money going? So we took it a step further, and we started pulling bank statements because we had to see where our money was going if our expenses were this low, okay? We were still in that cute little, you know, dating phase and newlywed phase. Y'all, we were eating out like crazy, Applebee's and chilies and IHOP and Waffle House. We just eating up a storm. Then on top of that, I like to cook. So y'all know what? We was just greedy. I'm cooking breakfast and dinner every day, and we eating out every day for lunch. How does that make sense? Or we eating out breakfast every day, and I'm cooking lunch and dinner. What in the world? So we have to cut that out. And we freed up a lot of cash flow in those earlier years of being in my econ just by cutting out there, going out to eat. It's not healthy for you anyway. And we were just eating up a storm, y'all. So, yeah, that's my story, okay? For real, it happened. Now, once we go back to Part B, and I was on those three steps, okay? Business income, let's say you freed up $100. Taxes and withholdings, let's say you adjusted your W-4, you got an extra 250 And let's say after calling all of these companies, you were able to free up an extra $150 in cash flow by just lowering your bills and quitting eating out so much. That's an extra, y'all, $500 a month in free cash flow. 
$500 a month. So what are we going to do with that $500? Well, in step four, we are going to do what's called the debt snowball effect. Okay, if you are not familiar with the debt snowball effect, this is how it works. So it's going to have all of your debt listed here in this little chart, okay? And what you're going to do is, let's say you have a car note, and let's say you have a credit card bills, okay? It asks you what your minimum payment was. Let's say your minimum payment on that car note is $150 a month. Well, guess what? You free up $500 in cash flow. We're going to put that $500 on top of that $150. Now, instead of paying $150 a month, you're paying $650 a month. Now, somebody tell me, can you pay off the car fast or can you pay off the car fast by paying $650 a month? Then what we're going to do, guys, once the car is paid off, now you're still making your minimum payments on all of your debt. Once the car is paid off, we have an extra $650 in cash flow, right? Wrong, because you got more debt. We're going to take that $650, and we're going to put it on top of the minimum payment of your credit card. Let's say your minimum payment is $100. Well, now instead of $100, you're paying $750 on a credit card. How fast can you pay off that five, ten, fifteen thousand dollar balance if you pay seven hundred and fifty dollars a month? Not to mention if you start making more money in my econ because you're getting a testimony. Now you can help more people to do the same thing. Now you've paid off that credit card in less than a year. You pay off that car in less than a year. Then you can tackle the big stuff, the student loans. Right? It's so common in America, but you can. Do it, okay? I'm here to tell you, you can do it. It's a matter of just being disciplined and dedicating the time and working this bad boy out, okay? It's going to show you in bold the total debt that you have eliminated, I mean, have to eliminate. The total month is going to take you to eliminate it. And then guess what? It says completely debt-free by, and it's going to give you a year. Listen, y'all, do you know how much your ego just, like, goes through the roof? Do you know the feeling of just knowing I can be debt-free in 2025, in 2026? I had student loans, and I can be debt-free in 2022? Ego through the roof. So many people don't know their numbers. They don't even know that they can be debt-free. They just know they got a whole bunch of it, and they're going to pay their minimum payments till they die. And that's not life. That's not living. So knowing your numbers, putting those bad boys in here, and hitting your goals is what it's all about. Yes, Brandy, I see your comment. Most definitely. Put those numbers in here. Y'all, we were able to do it twice. And we're doing it again because we made a major purchase, right? You can do this. You just got to be disciplined. Put in these in these numbers and know where your money is going, okay? Don't give me the preaching here. Then what we're going to do is only one more part to this, y'all, and I just have one more thing to show you before I let you go. So then we're going to do part C. Part C is all about investing, okay? It's all about investing. It's going to take all of these numbers that you did in the previous step, and it's going to go back to those goals that you said you wanted on page one. You said that you wanted a minimum of $5,000 a month coming in that will be comfortable for you when you retire. Okay, we got to find you some investments with a rate of return of 10% or 12% or 15% or 8%, whatever the case may be, y'all, if the number is too high, you may have to budge on your goals or you may have to increase that cash flow a little bit, okay? But it's all on your retirement goal. It's going to show you what you need to look for in order for you to hit that goal, get the amount of money that you want flowing in by the year that you want to. To retire, okay? So it's all here, y'all. This system, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing, and it works. I know for a fact that it works, okay? I have a testimony. So 
that is the cash flow strategist. Do that as soon as possible. But I have one more thing to show you that I want you to do first, okay? I want everybody on here to write this down, okay? You're going to click on Document Center. And when you click on Document Center, okay, these are all documents. You're going to click on the one that says Training Manual. So write down Document Center, Training Manual. And then what we're going to go to is the number six. Number six, which is, oh, I'm sorry, no, 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 number five, number five, document number 806. Sorry, y'all, they switched it up on me. It's number six, <laughs> like I said, number six, and it's document number 807. I forgot they switched it. Document 807. 807. This is called the PCP, my favorite document in my econ. I consider this to be the my econ Bible, okay? The PCP, which stands for the Personal Cash Flow Plan, it gives you eight steps for achieving financial freedom in my econ, guys. Eight steps. Let's get straight into it, okay? Step number one tells you. Acquire as much cash flow as possible each month. Business income, lowering your taxes, adjusting your W-4, lowering your expenses, and eliminating debt. Apply the extra cash flow to the steps in this system. So I'm going to stop right there, guys. Step number one, my econ says, to increase your cash flow as much as possible. And I really want you to think about this, okay? If you are living check to check, Okay, let's say you adjust that W-4, it was already pretty decent, you're only getting about an extra $50 a month coming in from that, your expenses, you can't really maneuver those, you're in a tight spot, they're already as low as they could possibly be, and you really, you really can't finagle the other strategies right now. You need to really heavily consider the business income opportunity in my econ, you guys. It's just all about people who want to better their finances and getting this information in front of them, okay? Um, there's so many different ways to go about just spreading the word, whether you're using social media, whether you're actually wearing something like what I am right now, the debt-free button. We have debt-free T-shirts, you guys, also that you can actually purchase to just Spread the word about what you're trying to do to really grow your business, okay? You got to really consider running this as a business because where else are you going to get more cash flow? Step number one is bring in as much cash flow as possible. And I did have somebody to ask me before this webinar about where to purchase the debt-free buttons and the debt-free T-shirts, guys, it's just bit.ly forward slash econ offline. Bit.ly forward slash econ offline, and I will put that in the chat. We sell offline material. Y'all, that's the easiest way to promote your business is by wearing a T-shirt or wearing a button. It's some people on this line that can attest. It's days where I don't even feel like really talking to people about my business, but I'm in a grocery store or I'm in Walmart, and they're like, debt-free is the new sexy. Oh, are you debt-free? And then I, I'm forced to talk about my business when I'm wearing something that says debt-free or credit or whatever the case may be. You heavily want to consider running this as a business, okay? I'm not going to go too deep again into that. You need cash flow, period. Then you go to step number two. Step number two says be, set up a beginner's emergency fund. You need at least $3,000 in the fund to potentially get a higher rate of return on your emergency fund dollars. You may want to put the money into a money market account or a municipal bond fund instead of a regular checking or savings account. 
Also, you should keep the emergency funds separate from your regular checking account. If necessary, make periodic deposits until you get to $3,000 and then stop, okay? This is what it's saying, guys. Acquire as much cash flow as possible, save $3,000, and then it tells you, do not go to step number three until you've completed step number two. So until you have $3,000, do not move on. You know what that just became? A checklist. This is an eight-step checklist for achieving financial freedom, you guys. And another thing that I just want to throw out there again, I said it earlier, but Mr. Stokes, he really cares about us, you guys. The fact that he keeps giving us more money by running this as a business, come on now, we can all get one person and rank up to EVP. One person to get to EVP. And earning $50 off of referrals, and it costs fifty dollars. We're getting a hundred percent commission. Where where they do that at? Two people a hundred dollars. Twenty people a thousand dollars. We all know at least five people that want to better their finances and believe in investing in themselves. If not, let's get on social media and let's get to spreading this word because we will find them. Okay. <laughs> Step number three: begin investing in a retirement account of some kind a 401k, a 403b, an IRA, a Roth IRA, a simple. See how they're giving you examples? We're not. We're giving you examples. Do your research and put your money somewhere where it's going to grow. And it tells you, do not go to step number four until you've completed step number three. So until you have $3,000, do not open up your beginning investment account. Now, let me tell you why they do it in that order. And I had a really good conversation with my brother about this just yesterday. If you take all of your available cash flow and you don't have an emergency fund and you say, oh, I want to invest, I just really want to invest, I want to buy stock in Nike and I want to buy stock here and here and here, right? Because we get excited. We get emotional about these things. If you put all of your available cash flow into investment, What are you going to do if you walk outside that next day and you have a flat tire? You're going to call that investment company and you're going to say, uh, can I have some of that back, right? Now you risk being penalized on pulling some of your money out of your investment. That's why you need an emergency fund first, guys. Even before paying off your debt, paying off your debt isn't until step number four. If you take all of your available cash flow and you only pay off your debt, you pay on your credit card and on your car, what are you going to do if your kid gets sick and you have to miss a week of work? So, I mean, a week without pay. You're going to swipe that credit card to pay them bills, and now you're putting yourself right back into debt. It doesn't make sense. So that's why you need the emergency fund first, okay? Emergency fund, retirement account. Then step number four, paying off that debt. It says take the rest of your available cash flow and set up the My Econ debt elimination plan. That's what I just went over, the cash flow strategist. Pay off all of your consumer debt, not your mortgage. Do not go to step number five until you've completed step number four. Step number five says if you are not maxing out your retirement investments, Raise your payments to the max, okay? What this means, you guys, if you're investing in your 401K, let's say you got your 401K on step number three, and let's say that your company is matching 6%, okay? That's what my job used to match. But let's say when you first opened that retirement account, you didn't have 6%, so you only did 5% like it tells you. Once you make it to step number five, Go ahead and raise that payment to the max. Raise it to what that company is matching. Or if you have an outside account, like some of the IRAs, they have a limit on how much you can put in there every year. Raise your payments to the max. Max those bad boys out, okay? And that's how you're setting up a comfortable and a secure retirement for yourself. Do not go to step number six until you've completed 
Step number five. Step number six says take all of your available cash flow and build a full emergency fund. Listen to what I'm saying, guys, because I don't want to go too fast. It told you on step number four to pay off all of your consumer debt. So on step number four, outside of your mortgage, you're debt free. I want you to just really, really think about what I'm saying. I don't understand when people quit my econ and they're still on step number one. They ain't even made it to step number two. We are giving you the game on becoming debt free. These these steps show you have to pay, how to pay off your mortgage. How to pay off your mortgage. You don't quit that. And this is a long term business. If you can see, you might be on step number four for two years, and nothing is wrong with that because you have a plan. You don't skip, you don't you don't have step this thing. You do it exactly as it is. There are multimillionaires who created this eight step system for us. We got to make sure that we're consistent, okay, and resilient when it comes to our finances and really being in a good, good position to have a secure future, not only for ourselves, but for our future generations, y'all. We got to think about our kids and our kids' kids, and we got to teach them how to do this as early as possible, okay? So it's okay if you're on step number four for two years, and then you make it to step number six, and that's another two years. Y'all heard me say, I've been with my econ for five years, and I still haven't made it to step number eight, and that's okay, because I have a plan. This stuff takes time. For some people, saving $3,000 might take them all of 2019, and that's okay. All right, so just keep that in mind. This isn't a get-rich-quick type of company. I'm not saying you're going to knock out these eight steps in one year. I don't know anybody who's knocked out these eight steps in one year. It's just a matter of having a plan and going hard, okay? Let's get back to the program. <laughs> I went on a rant. Number six says take all of your available cash flow and build a full emergency fund. This fund should be built three to six months worth of living expenses. Building the uh, emergency fund for six months should happen fairly quickly now because you have the extra cash flow acquired from lowering your taxes, lowering your debt, paying off all of your debt, and the business income that you're still receiving coming in. Do not go to step number seven until you've completed step number six. So until you have six months' worth of living expenses, don't go to step number seven. Step number seven says, if you are renting, buy your home and proceed to 7B. If you are buying a home, go to 7B. 7B says take all of your available cash flow and pay off your mortgage. Pay off your mortgage, guys. So for those who put on their list that they want to buy a home this year or next year, we're putting you in the position to do that. Think about everything that I've gone through on this webinar. You have your credit system for bettering your credit. You have a savings. You have your debt free. The banks can't wait to give you money to buy a home because you're in position now, and there's going to be a ton of money required. You have your closing costs. You have your down payment on some homes, but you got money in the bank. You got your six months worth of living expenses, and you got your $3,000 emergency fund. You got that, okay? So keep that in mind. We are putting you in a position to not only buy a home, but to pay off your mortgage, okay? Then it says do not go to step number eight until you've completed step number seven. Now, before I go through step number eight, the last step, I just want to go back, okay? On step number six, it told you to build an emergency fund, six months' worth of living expenses, okay? Why do you need that, 
okay? I want you to think about this. The $3,000 emergency fund is for many emergencies. You have a flat tire, broken window, something unexpected, most likely $3,000. Cover that. You're on your way. It's just a mere inconvenience. Step number six is when life hits you, when the government shut down, has you without a job for six months or a month, when you're diagnosed with something and you have to leave work and you're off for months. When you get pregnant with twins and you have them prematurely and they're in the hospital for two and a half months, okay, that was our situation, y'all. We were doing good. We were knocking out these steps. We were on step number seven when life hit us hard. Okay, I was pregnant with our twin boys. I went into labor at six and a half months. I, every time I say it, I'm still like shocked. Six and a half months, I had them, and they had to be in ICU for two and a half months. Now, most people can't fathom going through something like this, especially being off of work for two and a half months because statistics show that most people don't even have $1,000 in the bank. Well, when they told us they need to be in here for two and a half months, well, guess what that meant? I was going to be in there for two and a half months. I'm not leaving my babies, not at all. We were there every single day for two and a half months, never missing a day of being there with them and seeing them and make sure, making sure that they're doing good while they're fighting for their lives, Okay. Life hit us hard. If it was not for my econ, y'all, and us having almost a year's worth of living expenses stashed, we would have been back at work while our kids were fighting. And I just cannot imagine doing that. And for anybody on the line, can you honestly imagine money being an, an issue while you're going through something so detrimental, you know, and it's not even just this, it's losing a loved one, someone extremely close to you, a parent where you're having a hard time recovering, okay? Money should not be an issue. Stress is already through the roof because you're dealing with such emotional trauma. Money should not be an issue, and I'm excited that Money was not an issue for us. Every single bill got paid on time those two and a half months that our kids were fighting. And on top of that, my econ kept paying us month after month after month, okay? So I don't mean to make anybody sad on the line, but I'm just saying you never know what life is going to throw at you. Be prepared and be proactive now, while you're able body, while everything is going good, while you have your job, be proactive. Knock out these goals. Get money behind you so that when life hit you, finances ain't even a problem. You just got to deal with the emotional and whatever else you're going through. Money shouldn't be an issue, guys. Let's go to step number eight. Step number eight says start building an investment portfolio over and above your retirement account. You have endless options, stocks, bonds, real estate, mutual funds, ETF, annuities, whatever you want because you're balling. You are financially free, okay? Eight steps to get you exactly where you want to be and beyond. You guys, that's all I got for you. That's all I got. Make sure you take this document, the PCP, and make sure you print it off. Print it off numerous times. Put one in your car. Put one on your desk at work. Oh, we got one on the fridge. We got one in the dining room. We got one in our bedroom. And get serious about your goals. It's the best feeling to just check them off. Yes, I got $3,000. Check. I can move on to the next step. That is the best feeling ever. So I want everybody to experience that regardless of, of what you go through. You cannot quit. You have to be persistent and you have to make sure that you are knocking out your goals, okay? Uh, Marcus, if you're on, you can end the recording. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up for questions. Hit star six if you have any questions, if you have any feedback for me, if you have any concerns, let's do it. 
I don't have any concerns, but I just want to say that how I appreciate you guys for the training, you and Marcus, and the things that you guys present online and how you uh, guys are, are really good leaders. So I really appreciate that. And it just sets the bar for for us who are coming, you know, coming behind and learning. It just sets the bar for us and, and showing the things that you guys have gone through. It just helps us, you know, realize that things can be done. So I really appreciate you guys. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much for that. This is, uh, I, I Jeff, really appreciate I'm sorry, it. this is Jeff Green from uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. We're, hey, we're planning another trip to New Jersey. So uh, hopefully we'll see you when we come out there, Jeff. Thank you so much for your feedback. Mm -hmm. All right, anybody else? Star six? Questions, concerns, feedback? Man, can you hear me, Angela? Yes. Who we got? Cortez out of St. Louis, man. Hey, Cortez. I didn't know you were on. Man, shoot. How could I not be? <laughs> uh, I've been trying to get my team like your team since forever. Y'all are rocking, man. I'm so glad you did this. This is powerful, and uh, if it's every week, we will be on every week. Definitely promoted to my team. Very thorough job, um, and I learned a lot. So uh, excited about these next few months, uh, being able to get my team to plug in and learn from you guys. So super, super cool that you opened this up to all my e -conners. So thank you so much for that. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for hopping on, and I'm glad that, that I can help, that we can help. So, yeah, I'm most excited to help you out, help you to grow, all right? Anybody else, guys? Star six. Star six. Now, another thing, um, you guys, make sure if you have any questions, I know how sometimes it can be, you just don't want to ask the question in front of other people. You can reach out to me personally on social media. Uh, you can do my personal page or you can do our joint page. Just look for Mr. and Mrs. Smith or Marcus Angela Smith or you can reach out to your upline to answer any questions that you may have, you guys. That's all I got. I will be back again next Saturday, same time, same link, same phone number. Catch us every Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Central Time. Have a wonderful weekend.